Isn't it wonderful? It's wonderful, baby. All right, I'm gonna bitch. I'm gonna bitch a little bit. I think you see an airplane here. It's a plane. See that? All right, here we go. About to go for my walk. Holy shit, the tr Okay, I gotta tell you, let me tell you, true funny. Then I'm gonna bitch a little bit. And then I'm gonna get off negativity. Remember, I'm trying to work on being less negative. Okay, but after this, I'm gonna be less negative. All right. Um, okay, true story. You know, you just don't understand parking. San Diego parking is, um, you know, especially by the beach. And, and, you know, you'll get out of your car and people are like, hey, are, are, are you leaving? I mean, and it's, it's almost like you, you can see the sadness in their eyes when they're like, you're like, no, I'm just gonna go get some coffee. And they're like, shit, another hour of looking for a parking space. Um, and, you know, uh, this one lady, it's the first time I've seen it. She had a sign that literally says, I'm not leaving. And it was a laminated yellow sign. I'm like, man, I so hard ate, ate Enneagram energy. Um, you know, and I would have taken a picture. But um, anyway, so <laughs> I'm like, dude, you know parking's bad when if you stand outside your car or your minivan in her case, um, or SUV, I think it was, um, that you have to have a sign that says, I'm not leaving. Okay, all right, now let me, um, so I went and got my coffee. And then, uh, you know, it's just kind of like that. There's 300 people in there. Um, and, you know, one thing I like to do is I like to support the local market, you know. And so, you know, in my opinion, Starbucks has the best coffee, generally speaking, because, you know, not every barista is the same type of barista. Oh, by the way, if you are in the San Diego area and there's a really good barista, you know, it's all about the barista. Uh, so I would love to promote that local local shop and um, you know, like I said, a lot of things I want to do in this channel other than just, you know, send some LOL, send some wisdom is I want to send some light. And so if I can promote the local businesses and, and I want to work with the best of the best in terms of if there's a, there's the best barista, let me know who that is and I'll go get some coffee there and I'll put them on my Fibonacci at Twitter. You know, you got to reward excellence, dude. You get what you tolerate. Holla. All right. Okay. Um, so here I am, I'm in line with this, uh, this guy and you know, he's like, he, he's trying to strike up a conversation and I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm trying to be nice to this guy and I'm trying to work on my negativity because I just did a Bible study and he doesn't give a fuck about that. I'm like, I'm trying to be, you know, and that's the thing is you try to get, whenever you whenever you make a declaration to the higher power of God in my case, or I think I'm more comfortable. What is the name of my higher power, dude? Dude, I think it's just dude. Like, Lord, dude. Dude, Lord. Lord. You know, I'm more comfortable calling him Lord, dude. Like, Lord. Anyway, what's the name of your higher power? Um, oh, seriously, dude. If you want to... Okay, let me tell you this, and I promise you I'll tell you my story because I want to talk about Mexican food and how to piss people off. Because um, everybody has that food that they really like and they will not tolerate, all right? Like, mine's coffee. Like, I just won't tolerate bullshit coffee. If I want truck stop ship, I'll go to a truck stop. I want good coffee. Um, and so I went to this local place, and they had pretty good coffee. Um, it's a solid eight, Okay. But I like my coffee to be eight to nine. You know what I mean? I'll, I want a ten, but dude, you, you know that you can't. Okay, so uh, I'm in line with this guy. Oh, let me tell you my quick Howard Stern story. If you want to know, okay, if you want to listen to a really, really, really good uh, interview with Howard Stern, and I think he's one of the best, best interviewers, dude, um, is go listen on YouTube or wherever of the Howard Stern interview where Howard is interviewing Sia, that musician Sia. It's one of the most fascinating, interesting uh, interviews. A, her music's amazing. B, she's like just amazingly talented. I mean, that's just raw talent, dude. So, sorry, singer-songwriters, if you, uh, that's that's what raw talent looks like. You know, she's uh, receiving these messages from, you know. So anyway, she talks about her higher power and she talks in detail. I think she's in recovery even. That's one reason, That's another reason why I like her. She's in recovery very, very honest. Um, and then, uh, she, uh, she's talking about how she describes her higher power. And she, I think it's like a surfer dude, you know, I'm like, dude, I totally got that. Uh, anyway, Sia, if you don't know, Sia is the artist, uh, who writes a lot of music and she even goes into detail, uh, uh, in, into detail or is it detail or detail of how she writes her music. It's amazing. Cause I, I like to know how people do things like, you know, not only do I love her music, but to listen to how she does it. I mean, that's even more beautiful. So, okay, back to getting my coffee, you know. Um, I'm getting coffee, and I, I, you know, strike, this guy wants to talk to me, so I said, all right, let's talk. And so then he, um, I asked him, I said, you know, I really like, you know, local places, and we started talking about coffee. And then I asked him, I said, what do you insist on being 
uh, on good. Like what what food or beverage do you just you have to have good? And obviously, um, you know he's he's Mexican, so he says Mexican food. And so he tells me about all these places that have the best Mexican food, and he's he's saying it in that Mexican way where like he's so he's so loyal to his heritage and that's again it's beautiful but you know he he's rolling his r's and i could barely understand the name it's not a tort not, not a tortilla motherfucker it's i can't even say the way he said i can't i can't roll my r's at least when i speak english but um anyway so he's telling me all these mexican places and a food truck so here you go youtube audience i'm in san diego there's two things i want to know who has the best coffee where's the best barista And then, who has the best Mexican food? And I'm going to put this on my website. We're going to kind of promote local stuff. Because I want to promote the best of the best. Best barista, best Mexican food. Go! Put this on YouTube. Leave your comments. Tweet me at Fibonacci. I'm going to go for my walk. My long walk on the beach. You guys have a great day. Email me at Ricardo417 at gmail.com. Go find a good place to park. Sorry I went dark here, man. You know, I'm just in this parking lot here, about to go on this walk, and, you know, do you really want to see, like, the same? Anyway, this is me being me, baby. Seriously, I'd love to know. Tortilla? I can't even pronounce it. But and, and, I, and I say barbacoa, but the way he said it was so authentic, it didn't even sound like barbacoa, but I tried to, like, that cool, and I'm like, yeah, I, I just, like, barbacoa tacos. So, anyway, who has the best breakfast tacos? Best barbecue. I got. I gotta know, and I'll go. I'll go visit them. Put them on YouTube. In fact, I'm starting a new website. Lo- promote the local best, the best, 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 best of San Diego, baby. You guys have a great day. Go listen to see ya. It's your day.